Hi guys, this is my second video because the first one I had on photo. <laughs> I'm not the smartest cookie in the batch, but here we go. Um, I had to buy a new dishwasher last week. I, I had a Whirlpool Gold and it was six, a little over six years old, six and a half. And um, a tiny little plastic piece broke on my, um, on my top shelf. And I called out the Sears man. They've always done a good job for me. <clears throat> Cost a hundred dollars for him to come to the house. Used to be like seventy, I think. I know everything goes up. And he said, "Yes, the little plastic piece broke on your dishwasher." He said, "I have to order the part. I have to order four of them because there's like four wheels." And it, I said, "Okay." And he said, "The price will be four hundred dollars." And I said, oh my God, $400 for teeny tiny little piece. Uh, I'll show you what that little piece was when I open up this one. But um, it didn't make sense. I already spent 100 and they told me he'd fix it that day. And he said, oh no, I can't carry all those parts on my truck. So it was going to be another trip out and more washing. I could still use the dishwasher. I just couldn't pull the tap out. But anyway, um, so I said, uh, bye. And uh, we went to uh, Home Depot first, and um, they had a, a good selection, but um, we went on to Lowe's. This was during President's uh, weekend, and um, Lowe's had a little bit better price, and they had a few more choices. Plus, they didn't charge for some of the things Home Depot did and vice versa, but um, it came out pretty close, but I think I preferred the, the Lowe's. So I bought a... Um, another Whirlpool Gold. I looked at several. The KitchenAid looked good, but it was about two, two or three more hundred dollars. And um, I'm 78. I don't know if I'm going to have two or three more hundred dollars left in me. So um, we went with the Gold again. Again, I, it was a really good one. And I know those little plastic parts, they can go, you know, you just don't, don't know. Uh, I didn't get an extended warranty. I don't kind of believe in those. I used to sell appliances and I don't know. If you use them, they're good. If you don't use them, it was a waste of money, and most of the time you don't use them. All right, um, I'll, gi I'll give you my <clears throat> view of my kitchen. There we go. Oh, Phil, could you turn that off, please? I've got my TV going. Okay, this is my kitchen, and you'll see that I have a white whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator. And then I go down to my brand new silver uh, finger pointless, whatever it is, um, Whirlpool gold dishwasher. The gold is makes it the best, I guess. And there's my Maytag. I guess I could take off my, that doesn't look nice. My Maytag double oven stove. And I wanted to ask if anybody out there knows because when they delivered this to me several years ago, it had plastic all over it. They took the plastic out, but they didn't take it off here. And I didn't notice that it had plastic on there till I used it. And it cooked on there, and I cannot get it off. Does anybody out there know how to get it off? Plus, it's a, a self-cleaning oven, but for some reason... Uh, we'll turn this on. Um, my self-cleaning. There it is, self-cleaning. It doesn't lock. When I push that button in, it won't. It's supposed to. This little thing here is supposed to come up, and it doesn't come up. So I haven't been able to lock it. Uh, anyway, if anybody has any ideas about that. Oh, here's self-cleaning start. I don't know. I haven't I haven't done it for a while. Anyway, if you know how to clean if you know how to clean this off, please please let me know. And then in the bottom, I only use that at Thanksgiving and Christmas, so it's good storage. <laughs> anyway, and then um well that's the rest of the, the kitchen, I guess. I could show you my kitchen. I don't know. It's it's a nice little kitchen. 
Anyway, I'm going to show you my dishwasher. And I really love it. It's uh, Now, you know it's not going to be clean because I've loaded it. So I don't want people to say, boy, you keep a, a dirty dishwasher. It's very clean. When, when those dishes wash, it will be just pick and span and clean. Okay, and I'll show you how I load them because I think I'm a good loader. I don't have it completely full. There's only two of us, and this is all day yesterday and this morning, eggs and whatever. But that's, you know, I got dishes. You can turn them either way and bowl, big bowls. And I like the silverware. That's kind of neat. And you can open these up if you want. Let's see if this one. You can open them up and not have them that way. But I kind of think it's easy this way when you stick them like that. They're not stuck together, so they do, you know, the spoons won't be inside of each other, spooning each other, <clears throat> so you won't, um, they'll be clean. Okay, here's my second layer, and I've got my cereal bowls and a couple coffee pots, and big, big glasses, maybe you can see, the big heavy glasses, and coffee cups and everything, but then here's my third, and this is what I am excited. I love this third layer. I always have a lot of ladles and, oops, I guess I could have cleaned that a little bit better. Yeah, I got that egg off, but I'm sure it would have gotten it off. But um, I always have ladles and, you know, kind of flat things. There's my butter dish, pans and everything. And you, know, you don't have a place to put them, so it all, it all works good here. And here's the top of the butter and the top of the bottle. Anyway, so if you look at it this way, I've got so much more room. It holds 15 place settings. And believe me, it's just just really a good worker. All right, I think you've seen enough of dishwashing. I'll just close this up and um and it's it's pretty deep in there. And it's going to get that pan real close, clean. And um, I always have, let's see, it says use one. I use two like every other day, and I don't know of anybody that does that, but I don't know. I use a Cascade. I put one in there, and I put some, one in there. And this is your uh, rinse dispenser, and I highly recommend that because... There's not even a spot on them. All right. And I close her up. And I don't have as many. My other one had a. Wow, this is getting dusty. Hang on a second. I have used it a few days. My other one had a lot more choices going all the way across. But it was so many choices. I mean, delay it for eight hours. Delay it for two days. Why would you load your dishwasher and delay it for two days I don't know um, and then s small medium and large I I just turn it on so it, this one actually you hit cycle and I just go to normal and it says three minutes three hours and nine minutes and they said you use actually less water than if you did it by hand then you hit start and you close it quick and you can see in there it's saying how long it's got to go. And there's your blue light, and there it goes. And it's very quiet. I'm right on top of it. But if I come into my living room, and it's just starting up, you can't really hardly hear it. And if you do, it's just a slight hum. And it gets real quiet later on. It's just starting up. It, it does a little bit of a hum. So that's it, guys. I'm going to give this Whirlpool Gold dishwasher a 10. Bye, guys.